the Amish secret, rice water ferment that makes plants explode with life. If you've ever wondered how some gardeners seem to grow those lush, vibrant, disease-resistant plants without relying on chemical fertilizers, you're about to uncover one of their secret weapons. The Amish, known for their deep connection to the land and natural farming wisdom, have long practiced a method that harnesses one of nature's tiniest yet most powerful allies, lactic acid bacteria, or lab. And the best part? You can make it right at home, starting with something as simple as rice wash water. The Amish secret, farming with microbial power. The Amish don't depend on modern fertilizers or synthetic chemicals. Instead, they rely on time-tested natural methods that keep soil alive and self-sustaining. One of their most powerful tools is fermented lactic acid bacteria, a simple microbial culture that boosts nutrient absorption, suppresses disease, and strengthens plant roots. Step 1. The Humble Beginning. Rice Wash Water. Every time you rinse rice before cooking, you release starches and tiny bits of nutrients into the water. To most people, it's just cloudy rinse water that goes down the drain, but to a microbial farmer, that liquid is gold. A perfect food source for wild bacteria that float through the air and live on your hands, surfaces, and even the grains themselves. Here's how it begins. First, collect the rice wash water. Use the first rinse from plain white rice. It should be milky and slightly thick. Next, ferment it. Pour the liquid into a loosely covered jar or bottle, leaving space for air. Store it in a cool, shaded place for two to three days. Then, watch the magic. Within a few days, the mixture will start to separate. You'll see a thin film or bubbles forming on top, a sign that wild lactic acid bacteria are starting to grow. At this stage, you've created a starter culture, much like a sourdough starter, but for your soil. Step 2. Feeding and Multiplying the LAB Once you've captured those beneficial microbes, it's time to feed them and multiply them so they become a strong, stable culture. The Amish discovered that milk provides the perfect environment. LAB love the lactose, or milk sugar, and they multiply quickly when given this food source. Here's how to do it the traditional way. First, strain your rice wash water after it has fermented for 2-3 to three days. Then, mix it with milk, about 1 part fermented rice water to 10 parts milk. Raw milk works best, but pasteurized milk also works fine. Let it ferment again. Cover loosely and leave it at room temperature for another 5 to 7 days. During this stage, the bacteria digest the milk sugars and separate the liquid into two parts, a clear yellowish whey-like liquid, which is your LAB serum, and a thick white curd, which you can compost. The clear part is what you want to keep. That's your pure lactic acid bacterial culture, ready to use in the garden. Step 3. Storing and diluting for use. Now that you've got your homemade lab, you'll want to preserve it so you can use it for months. Store your lab liquid in a glass or plastic bottle and mix it one-to-one -one with unsulfured molasses or brown sugar. This stabilizes the culture by keeping the microbes dormant but alive. It can last up to a year in a cool dark place. When it's time to use it, always dilute before applying. For soil drench, use one tablespoon of lab per liter of water. For foliar spray, Use 1 teaspoon per liter of water, just mist it directly on leaves in the morning or evening. And for a compost accelerator, add a cup to your compost pile to boost microbial activity and reduce bad smells. Why does it work? Well, here's the science behind Amish Lab. When you pour lab into your soil or spray it on plants, you're essentially flooding the environment with beneficial microbes that suppress pathogens. Lab outcompete harmful bacteria and fungi that cause root rot, damping off, and leaf disease. They also improve nutrient availability by helping decompose organic matter into nutrients that plants can readily absorb. Plus, they strengthen plant immunity. Plants exposed to beneficial microbes often develop stronger natural resistance to stress, pests, and disease. And finally, LAB help balance soil pH and odor by neutralizing foul-smelling compounds and compost in soil, promoting a fresher, healthier growing environment. In other words, LAB aren't fertilizers, they're enablers. They unlock the power already hidden in your soil. Real-world results, why gardeners swear by it. If you've ever seen a garden revived seemingly overnight after a heavy dose of this microbial milk, you'll understand why the Amish never abandoned this practice. 
Gardeners who use Lay B regularly report faster seed germination, thicker stems, and stronger root growth, dramatic improvement in soil smell and texture, and significantly fewer pest and disease problems. And because it's so affordable to make, it's one of the most sustainable tools any gardener can adopt, whether you're tending a single raised bed or managing acres of farmland. Practical Tips for Success A few small adjustments can make a big difference when working with living cultures. Avoid chlorinated water. Always use filtered rain or dechlorinated water. Chlorine kills microbes. Keep everything clean. Use non-metallic containers, since metal can interfere with bacterial growth. Don't overdo it. Lab are powerful. Using too much can temporarily acidify the soil. Stick to the recommended dilutions. Combine with compost tea or EM, which stands for effective microorganisms, for an even broader microbial mix. With consistency, your soil becomes a thriving ecosystem instead of a lifeless medium. Why the Amish way still matters today. In a world full of bottled fertilizers and synthetic solutions, the Amish remind us that real soil power comes from life itself. By fermenting lactic acid bacteria from rice water, they've kept their soil fertile for generations. No chemicals, no shortcuts. And you can do the same. Whether you're growing tomatoes on a balcony or managing a regenerative farm, these simple microbes can bring your soil back to life in a way that feels natural, sustainable, and deeply rewarding. Final thoughts. Bring life back to your soil. If there's one thing I've learned from exploring Amish farming wisdom, it's this. Soil doesn't need more products, it needs more life. Lactic acid bacteria are the heart of that living system, so next time you rinse your rice, don't pour that cloudy water down the drain. You might be washing away the start of your most powerful soil-building ally. Try making your own lay bee this week, and watch your plants respond with greener leaves, stronger roots, and that unmistakable vibrancy of truly living soil. And if you found this guide useful, don't forget to subscribe to Soil Power for more down-to-earth gardening wisdom, and share this article with a fellow gardener who's ready to ditch chemicals and grow with nature's power. Your soil will thank you, and so will your plants.